Hello YouTubers and in this episode I'm going to show you how to transfer a freeware NES game to RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi Zero. But this process will work for any of the Raspberry Pis um, that are out there. First off you're going to need a way to transfer and connect to the RetroPie case uh, or the GPI case and uh, the operating system and I recommend WinSCP uh, which is available from winscp.net as you can see here it's also available on the Microsoft Store uh, for about $10 I recommend that because that does help support the developer click download uh, the software should, should take a few seconds and then install it onto your PC Next, navigate to wonderlanddizzy.com. Uh, this is the Oliver Twins um, website where they've provided a game free of charge. So click on the click to play and it will try to play it in a browser but I don't have Flash installed. So click download game. Now if you see weird text like this then click back on the browser and then right click download game select save target as and then save this to your desktop um, you can save it any way you like but I'm just making it to the desktop to make it easier and um, we're going to call this uh, Wonderland Dizzy and click save now we're going to open up WinSCP and for the first time, if you've never used it before, you'll see a login screen like this. And we're going to type in the host name, which in this case is 192.168.0.68. You can find your IP address for your RetroPie using the show IP config in the previous tutorial. So again, in the host name, I'm going to put in the address of the IP address of the RetroPie device. We're going to leave the default port numbers alone. Uh, the username is Pi and the password is Raspberry, all lowercase, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. You can save it so that you can access this later. Um, it will give you a suggested name. I'm just leaving the defaults for now for the purpose of this tutorial, but if you've got multiple pies, you can name them. Click login and the first time you'll see this message to say that we don't know anything about the server host key and whether you trust it and to add it to WinSCP. So I'm gonna click yes because I do trust this device. And we can see here that we've got a couple of folders in the Home Pi folder on the right hand panel. Double click RetroPi and then we see we've got the BIOS, we've got RetroPi menu, splash screens and ROMs. Now with splash screens you can use this to customise the startup screen of your RetroPi but we're not going to cover this in this tutorial. What we are going to talk about is the ROMs folder. So double click the ROMs folder. And here you'll see the default uh, systems that the RetroPie will emulate straight out of the box. It does support more if you add them and learn how to configure them. So you've got things like Amstrad, Amiga, Arcade is used for MAME, Atari, various versions. Uh, we've got um, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Um, we've got Famicom. MAME, uh, there's different versions of MAME to run different versions of uh, the ROMs. Nintendo 64, don't worry about. It's, uh, Pi Zero isn't going to be fast enough to run it. But we're interested in the NES folder for Nintendo. So double click this and we're going to basically drag and drop the ROM that you've downloaded into this folder. Now of course this applies to any ROMs that you've found on the internet. But making this easy, I'm going to show um, click on downloads. I'm going to right click on Dizzy NES and put show in folder just to check where it is. And we should find that it's in the desktop folder. And uh, here it is, wonderlanddizzy.nes. So back to SCP and we're going to go up a level. Since we're in um, documents, we're going to click the up 
and then we're going to select desktop here we go and there we'll see wonderlanddizzy.nes where we're going to simply just drag and drop across to the ROMs folder check that the transfer type is binary uh, we don't need to worry about the other settings as we're only transferring the one ROM click OK and literally job done so wonderlanddizzy.nes has been installed there's not much more now to do uh, unless you've got additional ROMs to install in the NES folder. So simply reboot your device, reboot the RetroPie, and then you'll have a new menu item called Nintendo where you'll see Wonderland Dizzy that has been installed. Now the game, um, the, the GPI and Raspberry Pi have, have rebooted, you will now see that we have a Nintendo option. So we can move to Nintendo and we've got uh, Wonderland Dizzy Final, which we can now click on. Ignore the, uh, the message that appears here, that's more for advanced. And here you go, Wonderland Dizzy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the blog article available at www.muckypaws.com. See you next time.